we're going to take a look at a new addition to the Knightsbridge grid switch range. You know when a box from Knightsbridge turns up, there's a little bit of innovation in there. There sure is. And where would you like to take us, Gordon? Well, Knightsbridge have solved one of those problems, Gary. So when I think about fan isolators for uh, bathroom extractor fans, what do you think? I think of that really large switch above the door, pretending it's not there, but actually really large and probably visual from the bedroom if it's an ensuite. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of those. And then the next problem, you know, you're, you're in an environment where you want decorative wiring accessories. Can you get the colour you want? Probably not, no. Yeah, probably won't. What about the fusing option? Uh, you meant to fuse them down? Well, it depends on the instructions. So Knightsbridge have solved all of these problems with, in addition to the uh, grid switch range. Right, I've got it here, it yeah. can't, you, can't, you can't have picked it up. Yep. You definitely can't have picked it up because it is three pole. There's a yep. neutral switching line and line in there, and you've picked up a single module grid switch. Yeah, and here's the, this is the innovation. So here it is. That is tiny. A, there's three poles in there. Yeah, and there's a tenant the rated switch. Yeah. That is, can you flip it over for me? Just have a look at the other yeah. side as well. Yeah. Wow. That is, yeah, that is small. Yeah. And they've also solved another problem. Another problem? I didn't yeah. realise there was another problem. Uh, well, some people just switch those isolators off, Gary. Okay. What? Well, maybe they're in a, you know, a hotel room, they go to the bathroom, they want to get into bed next, and it's going to run for 20 minutes, and they're perhaps savvy enough to understand what that large switch above the door is, and they go and turn it off. Yeah, they go and turn it off. So the other innovation in this range is obviously we've got the regular switch version, but we've now got a secret key switch version as well. All oh, right. So in that case, if you put that in a, to a hotel room, I couldn't do that, or yeah. it would be very difficult. I'd have to you know, perhaps search through my keys to see if I've got one of them on it, yeah. and also rented property again isn't it yeah again where people yeah unintentionally or deliberately switch them off and they stay off for a long time so you end up with condensation problems and things like that so building this range into a grid switch obviously solves lots of problems the yeah. first one being you don't necessarily have to have the big switch above the bathroom door oh that'd be a miss won't it yeah so what i've done here is i've integrated it here into a triple gang plate right so that's what we've got here linked to this fan and the fuse so i'm thinking there that when i look in the manufacturer's instructions for some fans it says not to be on a five or six amp lighting circuit and to be fused down individually is that right yeah the fuse is down to the manufacturer's instructions so yeah you can have a fuse you can have your functional light switch and they integrated into there, obviously put the secret key switch. So yeah, can save your wiring time, don't need that additional box. So when I turn this, the fan will come on? Hopefully, yes. Oh, it does? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, so obviously I've paired this with um, some Knightsbridge fans, so they also make the fans as well in coordinated colors cool. to match yeah. the range. Very so, nice, nice black one as yeah, well. So yeah, black apparently at the minute is one of those on-trend Don't colors. tell me it's the new white. It, it is the new white, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, so I've got that, so you, you've switched the light on, the fans come on, uh, switch it off, and as you expect, yep, the, the to, run on run timer. Up. And now I'm in my hotel room. Yeah, and I just, yeah, so if you're in your hotel room, you can't switch it off, nope. but if you want to do some maintenance, we've got the secret key switch in there, uh, and we can, uh, yeah, isolate it. So by operating that, that's, that's operate all three poles again? Yeah, exactly. Wow, that is tiny and really clever. And I love the two applications you gave there. Rented properties and hotel rooms where you really want to leave it running on, don't you? Yeah, or as I say, I'm, I'm not, as I said, not a fan of the big switch above the door, just integrating it possibly if you don't need the fuse or you could put the fuse somewhere else into a dual gang uh, plate next to, uh, next to the, the, the bathroom or a toilet door. Okay, we also looked at a metal clad range, didn't we? And we said in that range that maybe that would be local to the extractor system. Should we cut to that? Yeah, let's have a look. So let's look at a practical application with this whole house ventilation system. So the fan isolator is local along with the appropriate size fuse as per manufacturer's instructions. And as this is EFIX, I notice the flexible cable there has a ferrule on it. Yeah, nice, nice secure, uh, reliable connection. So to make those connections off, we've obviously got our neutral uh, switching line and our permanent line connections going in. Yeah, so permanent line's fed via the fuse. Um, but I thought, yeah, this, this local isolator is really essential for this uh, whole house ventilation because in there there's filters, there's some sensors to uh, set the moisture level and things like that. So, you, yeah, you would need to uh, isolate it locally uh, to perform mechanical and electrical maintenance. Okay, that makes sense. So just pop the remaining cables in and then uh, we can put our fan isolator into our grid mounting frame. And am I right in thinking it goes in bottom first and hinges into the top? Yes, just hinge so they are labelled top. So you can obviously get the switch round the right way up. So just click them in 
and then uh, yeah, bring in the, uh, the the frame for the metal clad finish. So the front plate goes on. Yeah. I'm expecting these screws to be uh, horizontal or vertical. What are you going for? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. All oh, right, the but, surprise. But I've used this with a mini trunking and a handy adapter that adapts the mini trunking to the uh, knockout in the top of that metal clad box. I almost didn't notice it, so it shows you how good that is. Yeah, so hopefully that should create a tidy installation for vertical and as we step back so that's a whole house ventilation system probably housed in a cupboard within the installation local isolation is it okay if you show us some of this assembly process that you went through yeah so again uh, i've got the let's build a stealthy black version up here um, so the york itself will accommodate up to four switches but obviously the fan scenarios here we've got three including the fuse so it comes with this handy spacer module so you can get it exactly spaced for three modules so i'll take our fuse module Okay, you're going in with the black that's matte yeah. black isn't it yeah that's the matte black they do it in matte white they do it in white they also do it in polished and brushed chrome am i right in thinking that that's right yeah so we've got these different finishes here let's have a little look at chrome yeah and again with uh, the screwless and the raised front plates and the flat plates as well so yeah so this is compatible with all of the range and what are you building up for me here so i've built up uh, a version in black which is obviously fuse a switch and fan isolator. And now again, if this was the functional switch for the bathroom, you'd probably go for the key switch option there Okay, as well. yeah, what we did, yeah, and then you clip that together. And then you just click your front on, and I've got a, a nice stealthy uh, switch. And I can match that up with this black fan as well. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I like that. I, I wouldn't suggest it's the new white. It's a little bit dark for the new white. But that's, uh, yeah, in the right place. That's a lovely looking color, isn't it? Yeah, um, so yeah, I think they've solved, yeah, solved them. A problem that's out there and yeah that should keep a lot of people happy and make electricians lives easier. <laughs> yeah well and we like that at eFix <laughs> but as always we're interested in your comments have you fitted one of these fan isolators that goes in a single module of a grid switch from Knightsbridge already are you thinking about fitting them in the future is it something you think is brilliant and why didn't you think of it before because that's what we thought of didn't we when it came in are you currently fitting a fuse to downgrade your fan because the manufacturer's instructions require it please leave those comments below is there something in the Knightsbridge range that you think is an app absolute gem and you'd like us to review it again leave that in the comments and me and Gordon will try and get back to as many as we can